Who's running for class president, Dinah? Yours truly. That means me. So, I have to make some signs to remind people to vote for me. Don't forget, vote for Alice. Uh-oh. Now, where do I put the apostrophe? Oh, I always have trouble with contractions. You know, Dinah, when you put two words together to make one, like, do and not become don't. Boy, how would it look if the class president didn't know where to put the apostrophe in a contraction? Oh. I need some time to think about this. What is your majesty? There's that! Just look at them. I quite agree, your majesty. There's no place in a family magazine to show bunny boxer shorts. Not those ads, these! Oh, those are just ads for dresses. And not very pretty ones. They're downright ugly. But that doesn't matter, because look whose name is on the label. The Queen of Diamonds? I didn't know she designed dresses. She doesn't. She just puts a name on them and they sell like hotcakes. Regular the short stack. Oh, oh, who cares? The point is, it's not just the Queen of Diamonds. Look, the Queen of Clubs and the Queen of Spades are doing the same thing. Oh, that is shocking and so common. I'll say. The Queen is supposed to wear dresses, not make them. <laughs> I should say so. And it shouldn't matter to a queen that simply putting her name on a dress will make her oodles and oodles of money. Well, you'll never see this queen put her name on a bunch of dresses just for oodles and oodles of money. Rabbit! How fast can I put a dress line out with the Queen of Hearts on the label? But, Your Majesty, you just said the whole affair was shocking. Well, it is shocking that I'm not getting my share of oodles and oodles of money. Hello. Oh, Alice. <laughs> Guess what? I decided to put out my own line of dresses. <gasps> How exciting! Who's going to design them, Your Majesty? Why, I will, of course. You, Your Majesty? <laughs> I mean, what a wonderful idea. Yes, why settle with someone else's ugly old dresses when you can put your name on your own? Could I rephrase that? No, there's no time. Rabbit, I need fabric, pen cushions, and pinking shears. Oh, and I'll need a mannequin. But, Your Majesty, if you're designing dresses, won't you need a womanikin? No. A uh, mannequin is a man or woman dummy. Well, just because I didn't know it was a man or a woman, there's no reason to call me dummy. She didn't call you dummy, Mr. Rabbit. A mannequin is a dummy. I'll show those other queens. And my fashion show won't be just a regular fashion show. Mine will be on television for all of Wonderland to see. <laughs> Rabbit! Yes. yes, Your Majesty. I want you to find me a beautiful model for my fashion show. Oh. <laughs> my pleasure, Your Majesty. Uh, from now on, when people think quality clothes, they'll think Queen of Hearts. Fashions. Fit for a queen. <laughs> and trims to the floor that's only part of my new fashion line you're gonna flip for my royal designs i'll turn the fashion world upside down you know these clothes are the best around the most royal attire you've ever seen and every item is fit for a queen you're gonna like my new fashion
come up with an answer to the question people ask most often. Oh, well, where can you get a really great chili dog? Okay, so it's the second most asked question. In a contraction, where do you put the apostrophe? I usually put mine in a trophy case. No, 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 not, not a trophy, apostrophe. <laughs> You know, that little mark you use when you contract two words into one? Oh, apostrophe. Well, that's the hardest part of contractions. Not anymore. Now that I have invented the contraction contraption. Adder, I am impressed. Oh, Nessie, after you see how this works, you'll be able to save valuable time by saying, I'm impressed. <laughs> Here's how it works. I take the words you and are, and, oh, uh, mm, yeah, and then I feed them into the top of the machine, <laughs> you are. Yes. Then I go one, two, three. There we are. <laughs> the contraction of the words you and are is yo uri. Wait a minute, that's not right. The apostrophe's in the wrong place. This contraption is not contracting correctly. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, we've got smoke. Oh. We've got smoke. Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, oh. oh hi. <laughs> well, if you're here for a contraction, I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for repairs. I'm not. Oh, should I say, I am not. <laughs> yes. The queen is designing her own dresses, and she sent me out to get her a mannequin. Wait. If the queen is making dresses, won't she need a womanikin? No, no, because a mannequin is a man or a woman, dummy. Well, just because I didn't know it was a man or a woman is no reason to call me a dummy. Oh, no, 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 he didn't call you a dummy, Hare. A mannequin is a dummy. <laughs> and I just happen to have one up in the attic. Shall we? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you have a mannequin of course we do it must have been filed incorrectly did we file it under m for mannequin m, m no nope. uh, how about d for dummy <laughs> no nope. ah here it is <laughs> it was under l for lost <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course. Oh, Hare, I'm so happy we found her. I feel like dancing. <laughs> Why don't you? As I take her hand in mine, and as our fingers entwine, our footwork starts to shine because we're doing the mannequin, the mannequin, doing the mannequin rag. Can't stop now, we've already started, so stick with me until we've parted. La da da da, we spin and bow, twirl and now, we will show everyone how to do the mannequin, the mannequin, do the mannequin rag like this. to face all over the place it's half a dance and half a race we're doing the mannequin yeah the mannequin doing the mannequin rag doing the mannequin oh the mannequin doing the mannequin rag at least i didn't step on her toes hello <laughs> Who's the lady? Oh, that's no lady. That's my mannequin. Uh, and yes, even though it's a woman, it's still called a mannequin. I knew that. I'm no dummy. <laughs> I'm taking this mannequin back to the palace so Her Majesty can use her as a dressmaker's model. The queen designing dresses? Talk about your fashion risk. Shh. Are you saying that since Her Majesty only knows about being a queen, she shouldn't try to learn something new? Oh, contraire. In English, that means just the opposite. Just listen to this story. <laughs> Once there was a dog named Julian who wouldn't do the same tricks other dogs did. Julian wanted to do magic tricks. 
So Julian studied very hard to be a magician. Finally, his hard work paid off. Julian tried his magic trick on the dogs in the neighborhood. Soon, Julian was playing to packed dog houses. But after a while, there were fewer dogs in the audience because by now, they'd all seen his one trick. A friend popped up to point out that doing the same trick all the time was getting a little old. But this is the only trick I know. I don't think I can learn anymore. His friend reminded him that the magical thing about learning is you can always learn something new. So Julian decided to give it a try. And sure enough, he was successful again. Proving once and for all that you can teach an old dog new tricks. So then, maybe the Queen really can learn to design a collection of dresses. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Okay, Rabbit. These are the sketches I've made for my dresses. Now, I want you to take this fabric and make my designs come alive. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, just one, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Is this sketch right side up? Of course it's right side up. <laughs> now get to work. Thrill me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> I'm not thrilled yet. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. Great it'll look in a fashion show on a beautiful model. You did find me a model, didn't you, Rabbit? Oh, yes, it's all the rain. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Oh, we're covering your upcoming fashion show for the Wonderland V. How about a sneak preview of one of your designs? Oh, no, 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 no. Photos, no. Shoo, shoo, go away, you two. Her Majesty's not giving any advance pictures to the paper. You'll just have to watch the fashion show on TV like everyone else. <laughs> uh, uh, just a minute, you two. As a matter of fact, I would like your opinion. <laughs> what do you think of my dress? Well, to be perfectly honest, Your Majesty, I think your design is a little... plain. <gasps> plain? Well, what would you do to make it less plain? Well, every designer has a gimmick. Uh, you know, a new trick that uh, nobody else has ever tried before. Right. Give them a gimmick. Try something different, try something new That no one's ever done but you A trademark you can call your own Maybe a pencil or a telephone Give them a gimmick, your own special brand That's what it takes to make them understand It's got to be unique, you know what I mean Give them a gimmick that shows these clothes are designed by the queen. Polo ponies and alligators have already been used be an innovator. You need to add your own personal touch. Yeah, something that everyone likes very much. 
Give them a gimmick, your own special brand. That's what it takes to make them understand something unique. You know what I mean. Give them a gimmick that shows these clothes are designed by the queen. Okay, so I have to have a gimmick, but I can't think of one. Your Majesty, I have just one word for you. Plastics? No. Roses. Red ones. <laughs> That's a great idea, Your Majesty. All your dresses can have roses on them. Oh, so whenever people see a dress with a red rose, they'll know it was designed by the Queen of Hearts. I love it. <laughs> oh, <yes! laughs> now everybody out. I have to get back to the drawing board. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> What is that you are tinkering with? You are? Sounds like you're ready for a handy time-saving contraction. <laughs> is my contraction contraption? Makes two words into one. Oh, contraction. Yeah. By any chance, does your contraption show you where to put the apostrophe in a contraction? Well, we were having trouble with that part, but I think we have all the bugs out of it. Yeah. <laughs> now... We have all the bugs out of it. <laughs> How true that is. Alice, did you happen to bring with you two words that you'd like to see combined? Well, as a matter of fact, I did want to know where the apostrophe goes when you put the words do and not together. But I didn't actually bring the words with me. Well, that's okay. We're never at a loss for words. <laughs> Here. <laughs> the contraction of the words do and not is... <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Here we are. Don't. With the apostrophe taking the place of the O in not. Oh, so the rule is the apostrophe takes the place of the missing letters. Thanks, Mr. Hatter. That's so easy to remember. Who needs a contraction contraption? <laughs> wow. Uh, well, maybe with a few adjustments, we could turn it into a waffle maker. show us on the air in one minute and the model hasn't even shown up yet but the agency assured me she'd be here well she better be i can't have a fashion show without a model <gasps> there's the music the show is starting i'll go out there and stall just remember someone better model my designs <laughs> <laughs> the Queen's fashion show started. <laughs> Dormouse, I'm surprised you're watching this. No, we had no idea you were such a clothes horse. I'm not. I'm a clothes mouse. Uh, I'm delighted to welcome you all here to my first ever fashion show. <laughs> I'm so excited about my Queen of Hearts fashions. I can't wait to show them to you. Unfortunately, I have to wait. Grab it. Where's the model? We'd like to get a photo of her for the paper. The model hasn't shown up. Oh, rats. I was hoping for one of those dramatic backstage shots. You know, the nail biting, the sweaty palms, the fear. Then why don't you photograph me? Ooh. Hello. Yes, this is Rabbit. I'm sorry, we must have a bad connection. I could have sworn you said the model was sick and wouldn't be here today. <laughs> could you hold, please? Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I'm sure you heard the message this time. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,
What size do you wear in a strapless evening gown? Oh, no. I don't do evening gowns. But somebody's got to model these clothes. Remember to smile for the camera. rabbit. He just left with a rock full of drussels. Oh, so the model finally got here. Well, not exactly, your majesty. Look, all I want to know is there someone back there putting on my clothes. Mm, yes. Good. Then the show can go on. <laughs> I'm gonna take my seat. I wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> We're all set to go now, and this first little item will be welcome at any spring fling. Bright colors, simple lines, and of course, a red rose. So perfect for a funny, uh, funny day. <laughs> My goodness, Mr. Rabbit's modeling the dress. I can't watch this. Well, I don't know. The rabbit has pretty nice legs. All that skating. And in the fall, you'll want to make dressing warm. <laughs> the rabbit. Uh, the rabbit and this stylish ensemble. <laughs> And when the warm summer weather comes, you want to hurry, hurry to the beach and make a big splash in the And finally, my last creation, probably forever, the perfect holiday fashion for the New Year's. Uh, New Year's. ruin who's going to want to buy my clothes after seeing a rabbit wear them but you already got one order big deal rabbit's mother uh you're not still angry with me are you your majesty oh rabbit you fell off the stage into the lap of the fashion critic of the gazette well i'm sorry it's not easy squeezing bunny feet into high heels oh your majesty your clothing's a smash. Just listen to these reviews. Breathtaking. A sensation. Two paws up. It was a stroke of genius for the Queen of Hearts to use the rabbit model. Ooh. Just think how good her clothes will look on you if they look that good on a fat rabbit. Wow. Those words must make you happy. Actually, I've decided there's something much more important than selling dresses. What's that, Your Majesty? Rabbit's friendship. He went out on that stage wearing those clothes even though he knew he'd look silly, foolish, goofy, buffoonish. Yes, Your Majesty, I, I think we all get the idea. So I guess Mr. Rabbit's the best kind of model. A model friend. One that all friends should be like. Let's all join in for a hip hip hooray. Bunny smile. Come on.
<laughs> Guess what, Dinah? I just learned a rule for contractions. That's as simple and easy to remember as my slogan. The apostrophe just takes the place of the letters you leave out. So do not becomes D-O-N. The apostrophe takes the place of the O and T. Won't I make a smart president, Dinah?